everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today is my bucket list tag. I was tagged again. My worry was that I was going to be tagged again, and I was tagged again. And this time I was tagged by Easy Keto. You know, Lisa, I enjoy being tagged, but I don't have a bucket list really. And so I had to actually go back and watch my other bucket list that Lori had tagged me in Fluffy No More. She had tagged me in a, in a tag. So I wanted to see what was my list before. Well, still some of it is still my list. This, the, the, um, I want to show you a little video and it will have um, my number one and my number two are in that one and number three is in this one so let's go to the video bucket list number one travel across the United States for one month on a motorcycle and meet um, number two would be to meet different youtubers okay just to recap on my one and two my bike around I want to ride across the United States on the motorcycle for a month but Jim would have to take off from work for a month so that might take a little while for that bucket to get filled and I'd like to meet some of the people that are on that trail that we the, the road that we travel that are youtubers and number three this one was really hard I I almost was gonna say I don't have a three but for every time we watch this program, and I don't even know if this program is on anymore, but it's always been my wish to be on The Amazing Race. But I only want to be in the United States. I don't want to travel across into Europe. I don't want to go where the language isn't English. I want to be just in the United States. And when they, they've only done one in the United States. It was a family one. And it was a family one. And it was really great because they had to drive a motorcycle, which would have been perfect for us. They had to tow a trailer, which would have been perfect for us. There were so many things that they did on that that we could have done. And um, it would have been fun to be on that. I'm supposed to tag three people for this um, bucket list tag. And the people that I'm going to tag are K&A Family Homestead, which is Christina and Angel. The Ozark Duke, which is Rusty. And Getting Started homesteading which is bub those you are tagged for this um, bucket list so I'll be watching to see what your answers are now I want to show you also how I crochet because I know a lot of you watch a lot of videos and they hold the yarn all together different than what I do so we'll go to that and I can show you how I crochet I've been working on the Lego afghan and what I want to show you is most people will hold their yarn where it's over here and they will stick it in and go like this. Well, I've got to make a double crochet. Let me do a double where you put it over and put it in, put it in, pull it through it. And I'm, uh, I'm very clumsy when I do it this way because this isn't how I crochet. I go like this and it feels like I'm a machine where I would put it in and I'm double crocheting where you put the yarn over, put it through, yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two and this is what I do. So and for those of you that find crocheting Difficult, maybe if you help. Whoops, I forgot to double crochet there. See, I was saying what it is is this row is a single crochet, and now I'm making a double crochet on this one, and then I will connect it with a single crochet when I connect the the um, panels together. I'll just go a slow one so you can see, and if you you see, I just go like this over stick it through over pull through 
and my left hand is actually just holding the material. My right hand does all the work. Or if you were left-handed, you would just reverse it. You would have to hold it with your left hand and let your right hand just hold it and your left hand do all the work. But that's how I crochet. And this is what I've been doing all in between watching videos. That's why I like the videos that talk because I don't I don't want to have to constantly sit and watch. I want to be able to hear so I can continue to do what I want to do. But that's what I do and now I'll show you. This is what it looks like so far. Oops, it's the wrong side. So I've connected it. And so this is where we've been I've been doing so I've got the double crochet here. And this is the single crochet. And I will connect the panels. And I had to number them. This is panel number five. So that I get them in the right order because I don't want any of the colors to be the same across. Okay. Well, that is how I crochet. Now, I've had on this last video that I did, there was a lot of comments. And um, a lot of people have dealt with someone that has had either Alzheimer's or dementia or both. And... It's in a lot of families, a lot more families than we realize. And one of them, one of the comments was that um, about how this person was um, would have never said a mean thing to her. And you know, they they change. I had a little old lady. She was a cute little old lady. She was about four foot. I don't know, maybe four foot five. She really shrunk a lot. And she she had Alzheimer's, and she would swear like a trooper. Oh my goodness! And the pa family used to come in because she was a prim and proper lady, and they were just so embarrassed because she would say such nasty things to everybody. She even threw a bedpan at at one of the girls. It wasn't at me, but I was in the room when the bedpan flew, and it was like, whoa! Good thing that wasn't full because it could have been a real mess. And that was what I wanted to say. Um, I'm done. <laughs> I'm all done. My light is flashing at me and it's telling me your, your time is running short. So I guess I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. Don't go away. <laughs> I have another thought. You know, I'm... I've been trying something new and it doesn't put in the punctuations for me and it doesn't put in the capital letters, which is okay because when I'm typing, a lot of times I'll hit the shift key to try to put a capital letter in and it doesn't. I've been actually using voice activated comments, but you know, if I stammer, it stammers. It's so funny because then I have to go back and delete some of the stuff because if I go, uh, mm, uh, you know, uh, let me think. And it will write that down. And so I have to make sure I go back and take it out. So if you see something crazy in there, it's because I missed it when I was rereading it. But that's what I was doing. I was using the voice activation to do some of the comments on the videos that I watch. The ones that I, um, see, that would go, um, the ones that I have to my videos, I answer them. Usually I'm typing it out. So there's a lot of times there's the I. I notice the I is not capitalized. Well, that's it. Okay, now we can go. Now you may be excused if the, as they say, dismissed or whatever. Bye.